Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be making African peanut soup, okay? This soup is originally from West Africa, and depending on what part of Africa you're in, they may make it different. They may make it look more like a stew, or some might make it look more like soup. It just all depends, but it's still going to be that awesome taste, so you won't be disappointed. This soup is savory. Although it's peanut butter in there, it still gives off a savory taste. You, you don't taste anything sweet, okay? Because the peanut butter that you use to make this soup is natural. There's no sugar in it, okay? And you're just going to fall in love with it. That's all I can say. Now, let me, get, let me give you guys a little story here, right? I was at somebody's house who was from Ghana, okay? And they were making this soup and they were like, oh, when it's done, I'm gonna give you some. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. I, I, I think I'll pass, you know? And yeah, I don't know if you know about the African culture, but you can only pass one time on a meal. The second time you go and visit, you must eat with the family. So the next time I went over there, they were making the soup again. And I was like, all right, I'm going to sit in this kitchen and I'm going to watch them make this soup. And I watched them and I'm like, whoa, everything that they're, eat they're using in this soup is everything that I eat. Onions, garlic, ginger, peppers, tomatoes. And then the meats that they were putting in, I eat. So I'm like, this soup can't be that bad. I need to give this soup a try. So when they offered it to me the second time, I was like, all right, I'm ready. Let me try it. And I tried it. I tried it with fufu and I also tried it with rice. And I promise you this soup became like a, re a special request. Like, hey, I have a special request. Can you make me some this weekend? Like every weekend I was requesting this. And I, I'm telling you, this is probably my one of my favorite soups, um, African soups. It is velvety, creamy. You know, I'm not a big fan of peanut butter at all, at all. I do not care for peanut butter. But once the peanut butter hits the pot with all of the other flavors and stuff, it doesn't give off a sweet taste. It has more of a savory taste, okay? And it's velvety and creamy and just yummy. This soup is inexpensive. It can feed the family, all right? And it can last for like two to three days. Who wouldn't love that? You don't have to cook like for two to three days? Why not? So, let's get started. I'm going to wash my hands, stay tuned. cut in, in fours, two large, huge tomatoes that I cut in fours. If you can't find two large tomatoes, like this one here, it's about the size of my hand, um, you can most definitely use eight to 10 Roma's tomatoes. And I have pieces of ginger, it's a good amount. One scotch bonnet pepper, and this is six cloves of garlic, okay? I'm going to blend all of this up in this blender, all right? So let's get started on that. I'm just going, I'm gonna put some onions. Some tomatoes. It's probably going to take Time to blend this all up. I'm 
I'm going to put one cup of water in here just to make it easy for the vegetables to blend. So now that the veg vegetables are done, I'm going to start putting my smoked turkey wings inside the pot. All right, I'm going to put the pot on a medium high heat. These turkey wings, smoked turkey wings, okay, have been cut already, I, I bought them already cut and I actually cleaned them when I got home. I, I cleaned up all my meat because I don't know where this meat came from, all right? I'm going to put it in a pot, pot, place it in a pot. You see how thick it is? I'm going to take the vegetables that I had blended up and I'm going to put it in this pot. When you place it in a pot, you want to go very slowly because it can splatter. And you want to cover all of the turkey all right I have some more still here but I want to turn it just to make sure that it's getting to all throughout the pan and I'm gonna take the rest of the vegetables that I blended and poured in slowly I'm going to stir it again just to make sure that it's covering all of the meat and it's mixed in well okay now I'm just going to let this cook down and while this is cooking I'm going to start on my fish I put enough oil in the pan to fry the fish I want to make sure that I have enough to cover the bottom of the fish when it's frying all right I'm going to let this uh, get nice and warm and I'll know it's warm when I start seeing ripples in my oil you might even hear it pop you never know this is yellowtail croaker that I had cut into three pieces. I have Maggie fish seasoning. I have Maggie all-purpose seasoning that I'm going to be using. I have ground black pepper that I'll be using for the fish as well. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of black pepper, Maggie fish seasoning, you can put as much as you like. I don't like too much uh, salt, so I'm not gonna put too much. And this is Maggie all-purpose seasoning. You want the fish to have a light seasoned taste because you're also gonna put season in your soup, your peanut soup. And you don't want to over season everything where it's like, whoa, your tongue is burning from the salt. Okay, so I seasoned everything. I'm going to just take my hands and like mix it in, rub it in. I can see that the oil is getting a little, is getting a little hot because it's starting to ripple. And that's what we want. We don't want the fish to be sitting in cold grease. That's not going to be good. 
making sure I rub in all inside. This little opening right here, rub in. While we wait for the fish, I'm going to put in three Maggi cubes inside the soup. They will dissolve once the heat hits it. They're like cubes. Okay. I'm going to also put in some black pepper. As we wait, we're going to mix the Maggi cubes in. Stir it in. Now you can put as much habanero pepper as you want. If you don't want any pepper in your soup, you do not have to have it. You put this right here and just let it cook down some more. Now I can feel the heat and I know that it's hot. All right, so I'm gonna start off by slowly putting my fish into the frying pan. Now when you put the fish in here, you don't want the fish to overcrowd because if it overcrowds, it's going to drop the temperature. Oops, there you go. All right, so I think that's enough for now. If I need to put any more, I'll put it once this comes out, the first batch. Let me check on this again. And actually, I don't even see any Maggie cubes. It looks like they all have dissolved, which is great. And it lets me know that the pot is really hot. If you're having a hard time trying to flip the fish, that means that the fish is not ready to turn. So you need to wait for the fish to completely fry before you try to flip it. If you flip it before the time to flip, it's going to break up on you, okay? It's going to start tearing up the skin. And we want that skin to still be on the fish and we want it to be crispy. So when we put it into this pot with the, the soup, it's going, to, the skin is going to soak up all of the juices and flavors from this pot. All right, so our goal is to keep the skin on and keep it crispy. It's going to soften up once it gets in the pot. So don't worry if the fish looks too hard to you. It's fine. And it's going to taste amazing because it's going to soak up all of the juices from the pot. All right, so I'm going to give this some time and we'll be right back. Okay, so the first batch of fish that I put in is done. I have a baking sheet with a rack. Parchment paper is underneath, which is, I don't know if you can see it, the parchment paper is right here on the baking sheet. I'm going to put the rack on top of the baking sheet. And then I'm just going to take the fish that is fried hard, and I'm going to place it on the bacon, um, on the rack. Okay. If you use a paper towel, it's going to so make the skin soggy because it's going to be sitting in the oil. We want it to stay away from the oil and we, we want the steam to escape. We want the skin to still stay hard. All right, so we have some more fish that needs to be cooked and I'm going to place it in here now. We slowly place it in there. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but around the edges of the pot, we have some oil that's separating from the actual juices that's in the pot, which lets me know that it's cooking very, very well. And that's what we want to see, okay? All right. I'm going to cover it just a little. You see how it's a little opening? For the steam to escape because if we close it all the way it might overflow okay so I'm going to keep it just like this and let it continue to cook 
over here where the fish is, it's still frying hard. Um, it's not time to flip yet. So I'm going to keep an eye on this as well. And once it's time to flip, I'll flip it over and let it cook on the other side as well, nice and hard and, and crispy. Okay, some of the fish was able to come out after flipping it, but this right here has been flipped and I'm just waiting for the, the other side to cook as well. All right? Once this fish is done, I'm going to put the peanut butter inside the soup. Once I put the peanut butter inside this soup, it's going to be a creamier texture. All right, but we're gonna keep it just like this, a little crack so the steam can escape, but it's also cooking the meat. We're going to make sure that this meat is not falling apart, but it's still nice and tender. Okay, so now the pot is still cooking down the turkey. It's been on the fire for an hour. Um, the turkey is getting tender. So I'm going to start with the peanut butter. I'm, I have a one and a half cup of peanut butter. This peanut butter is natural peanut butter. I have natural Jif creamy. Make sure it's creamy, all right? It doesn't have no hardly any sugar in there. Low sodium, all right? I have one and a half cup of, of the peanut butter in here. And then I have about, I'll say two cups of water that I'm going to put in here slowly. I'm going to put one cup of water in here. It's the other cup still left over. And what I'm going to do is slowly mix this in to make the peanut butter loosen up some okay because when, when we put it in the pot we want to make sure that the peanut butter has been um it's not chunks of peanut butter in the pot we don't want that so we're just going to smooth this out before we put it in the pot i don't know if you guys can see that it's changing a little bit it's starting to loosen up not so stiff all right I'm going to put some more water which is another cup so it's a total of two cups of water slowly mix it but we don't want the peanut butter to splatter all over the place so take your time stirring it it's starting to look like peanut punch <laughs> like that texture of peanut punch. Just keep stirring it. Until it's a nice cream. It's nice and creamy. I'm gonna take the lid off and just be careful because this is really hot and it can start popping everywhere the juices all right I'm slowly putting it in I'm going to take this bowl and put a little water in there so it can get up all this leftover uh peanut butter so i got enough water slowly pour it in this is about two cups of water going to let this soup cook down some more with the peanut butter we're gonna let it boil some more I will say about another 20 minutes 15 to 20 minutes and once we see that the oil is separating all right from the cream you're gonna see the cream and the oil like part ways. 
separate. Then we're gonna take this fish that we fried and we're gonna slowly put it in the pie, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm checking on it. And I don't know if you guys can see that it's coating the spoon a little bit, but it's not too much. And that's what we want. We don't want it too thick and we don't want it too watery. We want a nice consistency. I'm going to lower the fire just a little bit. So right now it's on medium high heat. I'm going to put it on medium heat. I'm going to let this cook another 30 minutes and then I'll come back to see how it's looking. Okay, so we still have about 10 more minutes left on the soup. I would say about 10 to 15 more minutes on the soup. But before we finish the soup, I wanna put one tablespoon of tomato paste, okay? And then I'm going to stir it in. I'm gonna stir it in very well. Get all of that that's on the side. So it's in there. I'm going to let it cook some more. Okay, so it's been about 40 minutes and I don't know if you guys can see, the oil is separating around the edges and in the middle right here. Um, so I'm going to start putting in the fish. I want to remind you guys that this is actually taking a little bit more time to cook because I'm, I have a lot of meat that I, I cooked. All right. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I ever, if I ever said anything, but the turkey meat is about two pounds okay of turkey meat and we just want to make sure it's nice and tender we don't want people to be chewing for days because your your turkey meat is so so tough it will take you longer depending on the thickness of your meat or it will be shorter time you know if your meat is not that thick like chicken chicken doesn't take long to cook if you were to use chicken your cooking time will be much shorter all right so I don't know if you guys can see that I'm slowly putting some of the juices on the fish. Okay. And I'm letting this fish like soak up all of that juice. You can start lifting up some of the turkey meat. I'm gonna let them fellowship get to know each other all right we don't want to break it up so be gentle on the fish okay all right I'm going to close this and give it about another 10 15 minutes stay tuned okay guys so it is now time to see if the oil has separated okay from the peanuts peanut butter and as you can see throughout the soup there's oil that's coming up all right which lets us know that the soup is ready all right so let's see I'm gonna take a piece of the turkey meat I don't know if you guys can see that is easily breaking up on us This is the turkey meat. It's very tender. I don't know if you can see that, it's, bro it's breaking up. It's not so tender to the point where it's stringy in the soup, but it's enough to be able to chew and um, enjoy the soup. It's not tough. The smoked turkey actually has a texture like some well-cooked chicken now 
And that's what we want. We want the turkey to be nice and tender. Let me turn the fire off. My little girl's gonna do a taste test. I got a little bit of rice in this bowl. And um, I'm gonna give her a little piece of turkey meat and gravy. And a little piece of fish. Okay, all right. And she's going to try this for the camera, all right? All right, so I have my little girl here, Nayana, and she's going to give this peanut soup a taste test. All right, go ahead, Nayana. Let me know how it tastes. Okay. Does it taste like African soup? Yeah. Yes, it really tastes like African soup. How would you know? Because... Have you had African soup before? Mm-hmm. You have? Okay. All right. I made the African soup and my little girl loves it. Well, I thank you guys again for joining me today on Simmer Down. If you like this... <laughs> If you like this channel, please click the like button, comment down below, share, click the notification bell to notify you when, when I have a new video out. You guys, please stay safe and enjoy.